Hello and welcome back to this Trails in the Sky second chapter let's play with me SLJ RPG in the last episode. Estelle was propositioned by Wiseman, the professor of the Orbro Society, to join the society as an enforcer, but she has decided against that. She heard the story of Lowe's and Joshua's beginnings in Hamel, the village, and all the shit that went down with that. She plotted an escape, made it this far, and then Joshua came to her aid. And a confrontation with Lo, where Joshua had messed with the ship in order for it not in order for, to get rid of low enough for them to escape. But we have back both Joshua and uh, Estelle here. We're going to quickly heal Estelle though, just to make sure that she's not going to be too much of a burden on old Ashtray here. Ashtray, sorry, Astray here as we make our way through. We've not got a lot of time to talk. We've got a healing station now, I should have looked for that. Because I'm guessing there will be a battle between these three coming up pretty goddamn quickly. Okay, is it this way that we need to go? These ways are blocked, I believe. Annoying. We're gonna have to make our way back. But we've got Josh, who is utterly, ridiculously strong. He's level 75. A good 8, 10 levels above everyone else here. We got some star rabbits. Something we actually already equipped on to Joshua last time. There's lo loads of these things that I've missed apparently. Okay, goddamn, this thing's strong. That's fine. I'm guessing. If we get Joshua, he's going to have a the ability to really bring this home for all of us with his craft ability history. We've not got any of that though. But the ultimate team is back again. We're analyzing combat data, that's fine. Take out the big thing, the self-destruct, that's all good. Then we can use our true comet here. To take out, we'll take out these two at the same time. Dark matter is annoying, but not past the realms of what we need to do. One there, we get a critical from Stell. Let's use it here. Easy money. Not done yet. We are not done yet. That is very, very true. So we get a seven rings cane. That seems like a very good weapon for young Miss Bright here. It is good to know. Let's go back here. We get a preemptive attack. Might as well take this to take out more of the goons. And I should use some healing items now. Now. I'm going to double check that I've not missed any weapons here. Because I just want to make sure, you know, that I'm getting all of the good goodness gone. A new weapon for Josh would probably be quite good. Especially seeing as we can quite easily defeat these in one small go. That's annoying. <laughs> but not the end of the world. I think we should just head back now. Two down. These things are going to laser us, but they miss Josh. He's barely affected by Plasma Wave anyway. A little bit short on the movement is old Josh. Compared to everyone else. But that's fine. We need to make our way back, so let's make our way back. I swear that wasn't there on the way, on the way here, but that's okay. Okay, goddamn. Right. This gate is shut tight. We're gonna fight all these things. 
we're not going to use our arts here, obviously. Latira is annoying, but it's not going to affect us that much. Let's take away this Port Seeker. And then Josh can easily take care of this dude. Because these things have got a fair amount of good levels for us, what we can do is True Sever. And then do an attack here with Estelle, and then attack once again. And that deals with that problem. Very nicely done. Let's make sure there isn't anything around here that we can be nab. Okay, it appears not. It seems like forward is the only option that we have. Is there going to be, once again, more of these towers? There is. That's annoying. Let's try this way first. Let's try and escape from the glorious. I was expecting Joshua to turn up at this point. Um, because of we obviously saw him head towards where the Orboros Society was anyway. That's annoying. But not the end of the world. Let's make our way back here. We might as well get this thing to go up. I don't know if that has any effect. There we go. We get a crit there. One. The true team of the moment. Annoying, obviously. Here, but as long as we can practice your arts, this guy is going to do Latera. Of course he is. That's fine. What we're going to do is just do a true dual strike here. To the wrong one. That's annoying because he's giving him a crit. But, oh, okay. There we go. Boom. That's that. Let's move out. Let's move out indeed. What are we going to have here? A proxy puppet. Those are actually always pretty goddamn handy. But that's blocked for us. We've yet to face one of those big things. And I kind of want to avoid doing that as much as possible. Because I do not think it will be handy. We'll do a true dual dual like as we get two crits and do with that guy fairly bloody easily. Okay, so that's gonna block us. That's fine. Let's see around here what we can have in terms of going across here. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So it feels like we're gonna have to cross over here. Let's see what's going on in here. That is just another pathway. We found a whole bunch of sep sepith. Before we go that way. Let's attack here. I'm just going to attack with Joshua now. Because we want to try and get his CP back up. As quick as possible. Okay, this feels a little bit different now. That's that. Let's move out. Certainly, is that's that then? Do I want to fight one of these big, big boys? Maybe I do. Let's check up here, obviously first, and make sure that we get ourselves any goodies that might be on display. Not done yet. We are in a rush, but we're always in need of good equipment. That is bloody annoying. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's fine though. Right, so we're just gonna fight this thing. Mainly just to get some little bit of CC points onto Josh as we are now going to go behind this guy and then get a preemptive strike. True draw strike. And then and Estelle can just do it with that straight up. Very nicely done. There are two doors here. Let's take the one on the left. Okay. As we're heading down once again. Okay, there is a rest point. That usually spells bad things are afoot. Holy 
Since when does an airship have its own landing port? Yeah, the Crimson Ark, the glorious. The pride of the society is meant to be the mothership of sorts. It provides berthing of up to 12 small vessels. Unbelievable. I secured a ship earlier for escape. It's in the hangar farthest in. Got it. One of these gets us in my way. The chapter is not going to be But what we do have is evil eye. Annoying, annoying. Let's just use this. We're good to go. We certainly are. We're almost leveling up with Estelle as well. This isn't going to be it, is it? No. Let's just go back and make sure we buy everything. I want to get the CCP up. Crap points up as much as mine. And if I can get a level up on Estelle, that's a free heal in my book. You know what I mean? May as well get it while here whilst I can. So close as well. Is there going to be one of these warriors? In the middle, there is. Right, preemptive attack. One, two. The problem is with Josh is that it's hard to get his S breaks because he just has so much good. Uh, such good. Um, such good crafts, honestly. Compared to everyone else, dual strike is is so good. Um, okay, we'll make it through here. So there's twelve. So in theory, there must be three hangers. Is what I'm understanding there. We're good to go. We certainly are good to go. Going to make sure that I get all of the experience that I can. I might even come in and then out again. Just to make sure I get the level up on Estelle. That's that. Let's move out. Nice. As we deal with this one by one. That's that. Let's move out. Oh, we're one point off. Right, I'm going back. I'm not going to go into that last hangar until I am assured. I'm going to do the heal, that's fine. In fact, I'm going to do this and make sure that I get the... There we go, that's what I wanted as well. Get some CC... C get a S break sorted for everyone. And then, here we go, this should be a level up. It is. Right, onwards. Into the third hangar. You're a bit late, aren't you? Oh, Campanella, you... Campanella. How, Joshua, how cold. You have been a nice long heart-to-heart -heart with Lau and you won't even stop by to say hello to your old friend Campanella. I didn't think you were still on the ship. Let me guess, you knew I was coming this way? Well, I am one of the Grand Masters sent to observe the plan. It's my job to notice more than the others do after all. It's impressive, though. You've changed quite a bit in the, what, half decade since we last met? You've become more of a man. You literally haven't changed at all. Even your appearance is exactly the same, though you haven't aged a day. Well, I make sure to never skip my skin da daily skin care after all. I've heard that you enjoyed a good romp in a dress every now and again. Perhaps I could introduce you to some cosmetics. Uh, could you be any, be any more aggravating? You were waiting here because you wanted a fight, right? Just fight already. Oh goodness, what a strong little girl. I wondered what kind of girl could pluck your heart like a grape, Josh. She's a good match for you, huh? Wait, who's plucked her heart like... Oh, forget it, though. Your proper girlfriend is that bander girl, isn't it? Joshua, you're such a stud. There's quite enough of your nonsense. I have no idea how you're even going to go about... How you even know about what you said, but either way. Our abilities in combat should be about the same, so I doubt us. Esther will sit idly by. Do you intend to stop us by force? No, no, that wasn't my intent at all. As I've said, I'm simply here to observe the pan unfold. I have no duty to impede you two directly. Really? Then why bother waiting for us? To say my farewells, of course. But you know I'm just saying goodbye isn't very exciting. So I'll help you make your safer story a little bit more riveting. What? Pale alpaca. Flying horrible puppet. Size has been working on models. 
So, the new orbs got our eyes is to bring up the reunited heroes. How will it affect their legend? Let's find out. Okay, we're all good. First thing we're going to do is black fang everyone in there. Get rid of the things at the side. Because that's always usually a pretty good idea, um, I find, anyway. And then we're also then just going to use a morale. Come on! Hard break this thing. That's annoying. Hey. Estelle's gonna get hit with this. Okay, 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 okay. That is okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not the greatest. Let's have a look at this thing. Loaded weapon you will self-destruct. Okay. True comment to this. I might actually use some of the items that I've got here. Knockout meat ball. Resist item. What else have I got here? A surprise cookie. That did not work at all. That's very annoying. Uh. That was definitely pretty cool. <laughs> I might play that truly next time. Let's do another abyss for Summon a big old monster to fuck this thing up. Let's use a Tira on ourselves just to make sure that we're healing up fairly well. Not great. You ready? Okay, but we're able to survive, which is good. Let's use a uh, jewel. It missed. That is nice. Uh, let's use a napalm breath here. Then let's use a another abyssal. As we get a crit with it as well. And full energy fuse. Not done yet. We certainly are not done yet. And that's going to be a lot of XP and a whole bunch of set. Well done, well done. I expected no less, Joshua, but the missies are rather good as well. Enough of you and your stupid messing around. Now, now, there's no need to be so angry. Anyway, it's time for the fool whose act is done to exit stage right. Well then, you two, let's meet again soon. He's gone. That's a little escape trick he knows. Don't worry about it. More importantly. Hey, you sure they came this way? Didn't you hear the sounds, idiot? No doubt about it. We have to hurry. Right. Lock the door. I'll get the ship launched. Got it. Activation key recognized. Confirmation code entered. And here we go. What? I'm opening the hatch for remote control. We'll be launching immediately. Take a seat. Okay. It's them! Fire! Don't let them escape! Not like that's gonna do anything. We're falling! It's fine, we'll clear it shortly. There we go. What's good now is that we have one of their ships. Think they can just fly away? Hell with that! Sortie share ships, we're going after them! Am I gonna have to do some airship fighting? Because that's gonna be crazy if so. Huh? It's the radar, isn't it? There's some um, three lights getting closer. 
ship's sewers. We need to evade them somehow. You know how to fly an airship? Basics. The ship doesn't have any armor, so either. This isn't the best situation for us to be in. Oh, great. Wait, where did you go for a ship with no weapons? The ship was undergoing maintenance, so the security was lighter. There is an emergency, so I don't have time to be picky. An emergency? You don't mean... You don't mean the fact that I was caught on the Glorious? Enough. We're gonna be flying rough, so hang on some. What? This second game is so much more action packed than the last one. It's unsurprising. You can kind of tell that they were meant to be one whole game. This is bad. Those guys who chased the guys seem pretty good. The pilots have been through one of the society's hiring folks in Hasbro programs, most likely. They won't be very good at adapting to, uh, to the unusual, so for more common tasks like chasing down a ship, they're good. I get it, I like the ghosts from earlier. If they're bad at adapting, though, maybe we can cause some kind of accident. Were we hit? No, that wasn't our ship. Yourself. That's no way. The Bobcat, but why? Joshua, are you on that ship, right? That voice, that voice. Yep, it's me. What are you guys doing here? I thought I told you would be out of Libero by now. Brothers got all worried about you might turn into a problem, so we'll become shattering that flying wild for a while. Really? Who was the one begging us to follow Joshua looking all worked up and ready to faint? Kyle! Enough for you two. Besides, we have that little payback to give the society ourselves. We thought we should stick around other out here until we settled our other debt. I see. Thank you. You saved me. You better be grateful. We've had an eye you for a while. We noticed you aren't firing back. Some kind of problem? I had a ship take a ship with no armor. It's proven to be a bit of an issue. I can imagine. What do we do then? Right then. Splitting them into two. I can't possibly lose one, right? One. No problem. It's a plan. Blessings of Adios be with you. Take care of her... Take care, you hear me? Why would the other one follow? Stella, is there anything on the radar? Nope, all the lights are out, it looks like. It seems like we completely lost them. Good. <laughs> um, I gotta say, I was surprised by the bandits. They're kind of okay. I never thought they'd show up out of the blue to save us like that. Maybe I've been a little bit too hard on them. It's true. I just saw us as two parties bound to contract. But I suppose the relationship between people aren't as simple. What's with, what's with this all of a sudden? But two people together? Maybe they'll fight, maybe they'll be friends. All signs of kinds of stuff can happen. That's just how people act, you know? Yes. How people act was never very clear in the world I lived in. Oh. Kill or be killed. Take or be taken from. Till I met you, my life was an endless cycle of such simplicity. Um, even you had some good times with Lo and your sister, right? No told you about that, did he? It's true I have those memories, but they feel like someone else's. What? After my heart was shattered, my memories of Hamill were no longer my own. I think it's because I gave up on being human and chose to become a puppet. I do clearly remember my sister's death. She and I were attacked by a man lying in wait for stragglers. The man swatted me away and forced my sister to the ground. Oh. In the time, I was too young to know what he probably meant to do. Well, I knew that he was hurting my sister and I had a bad feeling, so I grabbed onto the man's back. He ended up getting crushed and thrown off immediately. Somehow, though, I managed to get my hands on the man's gun. Thinking about it, I wonder, did I have a talent for killing people, even then? If I'd never been taught how, but I still removed the safety, pulled the trigger with no hesitation. The man fell over, spewing blood from his mouth, looking confused. At the time, I finally realized I shot a man. He wasn't quite dead yet, though. He jumped up, cupboard knife out, screaming, gurgling incoherently with murder in his eyes. I curled up, closed my eyes, like I was being attacked by a wild animal. Then, there was no impact. I was embraced by something soft. When I opened my eyes, there was my sister, smiling gently at me. The man had collapsed at some point, but Lo was standing there, dumbstruck with horror. My sister, cradled by Lo, gave me her harmonica, but then she closed her eyes. 
I remember every detail, you see. But even talking about this doesn't make me feel sad. It's just the slight tugging up my heart, like reading a stranger's diary. It's the same as true of my time with you. No, I don't think I was changed. I do think I was changed a little by by your touching warm your warmth, learned happiness and joy with you, and finally came to think of you as someone dear. But somewhere it felt as if it was distant. I suspect that what's my what my real self was feeling, the empty void of the broken puppet that is Joshua Astray. This is goodbye. Please do not chase after me anymore. I was a little happy to see you one last time, but even so, we should not be together. Being someone with someone like me will never be good for you. To be frank, you will only be a burden to me. So... You're a terrible liar, you know what? What? Listen, I've seen and heard a lot since you've left. Now, I think I understand. I understand the reason you left, the real reason, the one you haven't even admitted to yourself. You can't bear to be with me because your part's broken. You feel like you're being with me is someone else's story that you can never ever have. And come on, I'll be a bad influence on you, or you'll hold me back, what? That's all a bunch of lies, every single one, especially that last one. They aren't lies. No, Joshua, really listen. I understand now, you're really, really scared. What? You think it's your fault your sister died, and you'll never ever forgive yourself if something ever happened to me. That's why you ran away from me that night. Everything else was just pinned on afterwards. That's ridiculous. Weissman's conditioning left me incapable of feeling fear. It took away my ability to feel it so that I wouldn't hesitate during an operation. You're the love target, I'm afraid. No, darn it, I'm ta talking about something that's superficial. Joshua, you said you can't help but feel like your sister's death ha happened to someone else, right? Do you know why that is? Of course. It's because I'm a broken wreck of a human being. No, no, Rango. Why aren't you letting self-pity get in the way here? You just don't want to remember how awful it was when your sister died, and how to blame yourself for it. Unconsciously, you've been trying to think of it as someone else's problem, to get away from it. A lot of people do that. I... On that ship, don't tell me you weren't afraid there. I mean, it was a lot of work just to sneak on board, right? But you didn't even hesitate to help me escape. It's almost as if you were trying to get me away from danger as far as, far as, uh, as far as you possibly could. Danger you were afraid of. You aren't broken, break, Joshua. You're just scared. Mostly because you care for people so much it breaks your heart. And you're lying to yourself about it. Let's see how it is. That's that's how I see it. And I know I'm right. But I, if I can't... Why can you... If you've forgotten, Buster, I'm Oli Bro's number one Joshua Watcher. Now that I know all about your past too, I'm a bigger authority on Joshua Astray. The biggest authority of Joshua Astray in the world. I know more than Wiseman or Lowe, even. Joshua scared and Joshua brave. Joshua lying and Joshua honest. My beloved Joshua. I finally found you, Joshua. I finally reached you. Stop. But I need to say this. I don't want to just be one more person you feel like you have to protect. As long as I'm a bracer, I can't stay away from danger. That's not going to change any of you leave again, Joshua. That's what I have to do to be who I am. And so... So, Joshua, let's make a promise. A promise? Let's go forward together from now on to protect each other equally. I'm strong enough to be able to cover your back now. Now you're at my side, there's nothing I can't beat. No matter what kind of crazy nonsense the society throws at me, I won't die. So, you don't need to be afraid of me anymore, I promise. Estelle. I... Why, how? I haven't been able to cry since... since Karen died. I could never even shed tears as an act, but now... It's okay. No one's looking. Cry as long as you want. And I'll just hold you like this. Go down. <laughs> that was a little embarrassing. No kidding. Alright, oh, here, let me return this. Oh, 
Seriously, Joshua, this is the only memento of Karen, right? You shouldn't just fob this out on others without thinking, buddy. Yeah, it was a bit thoughtless of me, wasn't it? I was kind of wondering, what kind of person was she? What kind of person? Uh, she was friendly to everyone she met, kind almost to a fault, and she had dignity born of humility. She and Lo, back then, were perfect together. I was always a little jealous of them as a child. Friendly, kind, dignified. So she was kind of like Chloe then. It's a good comparison, thinking about it. Karen didn't look like Chloe. She had my eyes and hair, but they were similar in spirit. Estelle? Nothing. Speaking of Chloe, you realize you worried her and everyone else sick too, not just me, right? You have some serious groveling to do when we get back. Estelle, I don't... Oh, you're gonna say, like, I don't have to go the right to go back. I'm gonna drag you back by your hair, okay? Sure, your wise men smiled, but you didn't even know it, right? And even helping the madness get their ship back was done to try and stop the society, right? If I tell Dad about the society's plans, they'll make it even. And they'll call a plea bargain, right? That's not kind of how a plea bargain works. Besides, if you want to stop the society, you can't get back in that shi ship, can you? In that case, your only work is to work with us, Buster. And if you had been adopted, I we could have destroyed the glorious society originally planned. Yeah, sorry. Wait. How could you say destroy Glorious so easily? I know the society we're talking about, but you were going to kill them all? I would take nothing less to stop Wiseman and Lowell. And even then, there were decent chances they'll survive the destruction of Glorious. For the love of... No, I actually think it's for the best I got caught. You were going to do something completely crazy, Joshua. <laughs> Maybe you're all... Hey, Estelle's being all cute and naive again, aren't you? Not at all, it's just that you've matured a lot as a person while we've been apart. But ultimately, you're still Estelle. That was makes me happier than I thought possible. Owen. Come on, Estelle. Why the heck does Joshua's smile still make your heart race? It's because it's been a while, isn't it? It still gets me right there. Estelle? Hey, you got along pretty well with that tomboy, right? Oh, you mean Josette? Well, at first, we had our differences. Even she and came to understand each other pretty well by the end, I'd say. Understand each. Did you kiss her? What? Question, answer, give. <laughs> right. Of course I didn't. Our relationship wasn't like that. Well, good. Um, then... Uh, can I request a do-over of that night? A do-over? The first kiss is really important to a girl, you know? And it was all your fault mine got wasted. So you've got to take up responsibility, mister. But still... I suppose I do. Hmm. Hey, Joshua! The tomboy. <laughs> what the heck? You got away too, huh? I was hoping you'd stay caught. Maybe I should have thrown you at them as a distraction, but I don't think they like grimy tomboys. Come on, Gisette, don't start a fight. You won't object to a brief truce, I hope, Miss Brisa. Yeah, well, you guys did save us back there, after all. So thank you, really. We wouldn't have made it out without you. There's no need to thank us. I don't remember saying you. So keep on your, your thanks to yourself, okay? One of you is getting dragged off of prison after all, it looks like. That aside, Astra, what are you plans now? Huh? We came to ask you again if you want to come with us, but I'm thinking it looks like we don't even need to ask, huh? Yes, forgive me. I'm not really certain how things will go from here. Right now, I will be traveling with Estelle. Joshua! I see. Hm. <laughs> Whatever, at least there's still a chance. What? Joshua, remember? You get tied to Miss Airhead over there? Just come back to us. You always have a place in the Bobcat, okay? Walk over there and call me an airbird one more time, you greasy tomboy. <laughs> Thank you, Gisette. Don't. Kyle, I owe you all so much. That's all. That's all I. Good luck. Stay safe. Hopefully we'll meet again someday. Estelle. What is it? You do understand the enemies we've made are, made are overwhelmingly powerful. You captured a primarily as bait to lure me out, I suspect. That way, a glorious won't be destroyed in Wiseman's absence. absence. Oh, to be honest, the little party could have saved the ship after kicking our bodies to the sea. I'm fairly sure the reason he didn't was out of pity. Pity out of how weak I was, I mean. 
Only in forces are insane. In terms of pure power, they're all masters. Far stronger than even me. Even Ram. We pick what we have picked what will probably be the hardest fight of our lives. Yeah. But I do promise. I promise I won't ever run from reality again. We'll walk with you until the very end. Joshua, I promise to, to the very end. As that's a good place to say, if you've enjoyed this episode of Trails in the Sky Second Chapter, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time at the start of Chapter 7. Peace.